So in this video, um, we're going to use algebra to find the measure of angles. So it will be very similar to 1, 3, where we're finding the measure of segments. Um, you can, in your own language access, you can use the angle addition postulate before we have the segment addition postulate, but they're very similar, and algebraic equations to find the measure of angles. So, so far, you have come up with these vocab words. You have congruent angles, which are just two angles of the same measure. And the way we mark it, we use arcs. If we have two congruent angles um, that are the same, we use two arcs. So if this looks about 30 degrees, so if this is 30 degrees, this one is also 30 degrees. These two are equal in length. Um, if we have an angle bisector, angle bisector divides, is a ray that divides an angle in two equal parts. So this is congruent to that. And so I don't want to get confused up here, so I can do two lines and say these two are different measures. This is one up here. So if I know this angle, this is obtuse, so we'll say it's like 100 degrees. Then each one of these, since they are the same, we divide it by 2, are 50 degrees. And then you have the angle addition postulate, which is adding two or more angles together to get the bigger angle. So I have two small angles that make up one big angle. So this, if this was 30, and then this was 100 degrees, this entire angle would be 130 degrees. Two smaller angles make a bigger angle. So we're going to apply this with some algebra. So given the measure of angle LKN, LKN is 145. So again, I like to draw on my diagram what everything is. So this is 145 degrees. I need to find the value of x. So these two, so I could say angle LKN, the bigger angle, we can get that by adding up the smaller two angles. So angle LKM plus angle MKN. All right, so I'm just going to put in what I know each one is. This is 145, and then we have 2x plus 10 plus 4x minus 3. And now I just need to find the value of x. So I'm going to use my algebra skills. We have 6x plus 7 equals 145 minus 7 minus 7. 138 plus 6x divided by 6. This would be 23. So x equals 23. Now on here I said only to find the value of x, but if I would ask you to find what each one is, we would just plug in 23 into here. And you can do it just to check. Like this is 46 plus 10. This is 56. And then this one would be 23 times 4, which would be 92. Minus 3 is 89. 89 plus 56 is 145, so I know I have the correct answer. So in this diagram, BD bisects ABC, angle ABC. Well, bisects means to cut in half. So this angle is congruent to the other angle. Well, that tells me that angle ABD equals, or the measure of angle ABD equals the measure of angle DBC. Well, for us to find ABC, we need to know what each one is. Well, we need to figure out the value of x. So I can set 5x minus 11, replacing ABD, equal to 5x plus 1. Doing my algebra again, I'm going to do two steps at once since you've already had your full year of algebra one. So you have x equals 12. So that's the value of x. So now I need to figure out what each one is. Um, I can plug into either one. I have 4 times 12 plus 1. I'm going to find the measure of angle. D, B, C first. 4 times 
12 is 48 plus 1 is 49. So I know this angle is 49. Well, these two are congruent, so this should be 49, which means my measure of angle ABC is 98 degrees. Again, you could check it in here if you went 5 times um, 12, which is 60, minus 11 is 49. So I know this is the correct answer. It's always nice to know when you're right. Be more confidence. All right, so just to review, remember we have an angle bisector, which cuts in half. We have congruent angles, which means they are the same measure. We have the angle addition postulate, which just means two or more smaller angles make the bigger. And then use your common sense or your logic. Again, one of the very important concepts. You're going to hear me say that a lot throughout the year. Common sense and logic go hand in hand with geometry. Reminder to do your reflection so you get credit for watching this video.